This is a 2019 Fanatic Scadia with 700,000 miles and uh, the problem in this engine was having it wasn't rotating. After you uh, try to start the engine, it was locking itself, as you can hear it. Uh, this noise was um, basically something coming from the inside of the engine. Uh, it's not a started problem, and there is no a specific uh, situation where the engine is locking itself uh, through the crankshaft or to the crankshaft or something because the engine rotates. If I try to uh, rotate the engine manually, I am able to do that, but if I'm trying to crank the engine, it doesn't. After going through so many different types of uh, inspections, I realized that it, it only gets uh, uh, stuck in one position. So that means that if I reverse rotate the engine, I go uh, in the opposite direction of the rotation of the engine, it will rotate fi uh, fine, but then when I try to crank it, it will crank all those rotations until it gets stuck in the same position, as you can hear right now. And uh, the situation is that every time the engine was getting stuck in the same position, uh, you could see uh, fluid coming from the division between the head and the engine block where the gasket goes. Uh, that clearly means that we have a compression leak, but also we have a coolant leak inside the combustion chamber. And that is a very uncommon problem on D15 engines. It is common to see engines then have a leak inside uh, the engine and start consuming uh, coolant, but not like locking themselves. Uh, it, what it looks like, this engine had that problem for a while and it kept on running until it got, uh, it got the problem. Then it didn't run anymore. Um, so, there is no other way to find out this problem by, uh, by just removing the head. We have to actually assemble the engine to see what is the problem. And in the process, we found that we have a lot of water in the intake manifold, EGR coolers, exhaust manifold. So there was a lot of coolant contamination everywhere on the engine. And that was not something very un usually than you see on these engines. But, uh, well, I mean, it's a process of inspection, so we have to continue disassembling the engine until we find the problem. Um, after taking the head out, we realized that we have a broken cylinder and the cylinder number three is the one that was having the issue. The oil level was high because we have a lot of coolant in the oil system, the lubrication system, and uh, as consequence we're going to have coolant inside the piston. And that was the whole reason why we had coolant in the combustion chamber, in the oil, and all over the intake and exhaust because the coolant was getting pushed by the piston on the exhaust truck to the uh, to the exhaust manifold and then going back to the intake through the EGR cooler and then uh, in the whole sequence and that's the reason why the engine was locked it's uh, locking itself uh, that's the reason why I say this 
engine had this problem for a while that means that this engine was running with this problem for so long and they kept on running it and uh, probably the engine had coolant consumptions and they didn't care, they didn't pay attention. They kept on running the engine, the truck, until it didn't do it anymore. Luckily, the engine didn't lock itself. Uh, crankshaft, connecting rods and all that is fine. It is just basically coolant contamination and it was locking, hydro locking in this case because of coolant, because water was inside the combustion chamber. And in this case, we have the cylinder liner that was broken and uh we can appreciate the damage then it caused so this is the normal wear on cylinder liners i have many videos talking about uh, the wear on cylinder liners and um uh, it's nothing special about it broken uh, we have broken uh seals which is normal uh, they're all seals mm, well to be honest, in 2019 doesn't have to be broken but well probably this engine was running with quarter instead of coolant for a long time or it was overheated one or the two but luckily the engine stopped on time because we can see then the connecting rod bearings were about to get destroyed see this is the protective material that the bearing has and it was completely wear out we getting we were exposing the actual material then uh, the bearing is made of and eventually the material will give out and then uh, the engine will lock itself and will be not able to move anywhere. So, luckily the engine was stopped on time. Uh, well, I mean, it didn't run anymore because of the coolant. And uh, we can at least save the crankshaft and the connecting rods. Uh, well, at least the number three, uh, connecting rod number three in this case, because we had coolant and the engine was locking on cylinder number three. I will suppose then we will better need to replace the connecting rod on this cylinder because probably we can have a damage probably the angle of the connecting rod could be a little off so to prevent any future problems will be better at least to replace this connecting rod just this one the other ones seems like they're okay but at least this one because this is the one how the one that had the major amount of uh, coolant contamination and the one that was leaking especially when the compression stroke was coming you can see the coolant coming out specifically for the area of the cylinder number three that is because the coolant and the and the piston and the cylinder head went compressing so the coolant had nowhere to go because the compression stroke was happening so the coolant was actually exiting from the exhaust uh, from, from the um, head gasket and in this case the head gasket is this one right here and uh, um, you clearly see the damage of the head gasket see is broken that is the reason why uh, we uh, were having that issue on this uh, cylinder head um, it, it, of course right after having stroke compression and coolant contamination the coolant had to had to go somewhere so the weakest point in this case was the head gasket and that's the reason why it broke luckily it was just the head gasket in some cases this uh, connecting rod of the pistons can break and that could be a very expensive uh, damage but in this case it's just that but as i said before i believe that this engine was running with a water for so long because we have so much corrosion as we can see here see this is a large amount of corrosion then uh, this engine had which means then um, probably that was the case of this engine probably the owner or the previous owner had problems with the truck they add coolant they kept on running the uh, they, they add a uh, water in this case they kept on running the engine with water and eventually the water is going to destroy everything and uh, as consequence you're gonna have issues like this uh, probably the coolant in this case probably the coolant was leaking to the head gasket and of course we have the cylinder head i mean the cylinder damage and um, after the coolant was leaking into the cylinder uh, the piston was pushing the coolant back and pushing the uh, coolant through the gasket all the way to the exterior of the engine and that's what i believe not sure specifically but that's how it looks like the problem was caused and um there is not uh other way to see it and in other 
areas the gasket looks fine just a little damage like in this case this is area of the gasket right here the front area that's the way a good gasket is supposed to look like in a clean condition like this this area is good but then the other one see the rusted here rusted there and continues on this uh, being the same for the other uh, areas of the gasket um, but well uh, if you wonder what is the repair for this uh, issue the repair will be to replace the cylinder uh, head in this case because the cylinder head could be having an issue uh, the cylinder head is right here uh, we don't know there is no way to know you can see coolant contamination see coolant we have coolant too here and cylinder number three is this one the, it looks like there is no coolant here um, but uh, we don't know at this point if the cylinder head is also cracked or damaged um, the best way to prevent or to repair this problem will be to replace the cylinder head because we don't know in what condition the cylinder head could be um, the bolt seats on the back and, and the bottom of the head they look like they have some sort of damage and um, that is not normal so I suppose then that has a lot to do with the amount of water that this engine was uh, compressing with the piston and uh, that is the reason why they started to um, get in eaten because the piece of metal kind of like a faded weight and that is something that uh, is not normal on these engines and in the intake side of course when I have a lot of water because this is the intake side we have humidity because it's normal there was water coming from the EGR cooler so it's no uh, surprise in this case uh, but um, if you happen to have a similar problem like this it, it will be better to replace the cylinder head replace the head gasket replace all the cylinders replace the connecting rod then have the major amount of water which is cylinder number three piston number three and uh and do the continue on doing the full overhaul whatever all the components are uh, part of the overhaul but uh in this case that, that's all we are going to talk about this this uh in this video um and uh, if you wonder how much this repair is going to be it's going to be around around sixteen thousand dollars something like that to repair full overhaul uh, you have to check the clearance of the of, of the cylinder liners in this case because we have a damage um, cylinder head gaskets overhaul kits and other old components and labor it's gonna be something like that of course the price is based on the area we are in other areas the prices could be a little higher or a little lower that could be uh, different for your situation uh, but th this will be all so if you have any questions about this video just comment below anything to add to this video also you can comment below any experiences anything or any repairs or something that you did to your truck or you are doing to a truck you can do comment and uh, it will help a lot of people if you want to send support to the channel check the description of the video I have details on Instagram you can find me uh, as Francisco my YouTube and thank you for watching